and to this webinar on what in solid works 2070. Uh, we shouldn't present the name Mr. Chetan. It's not available today, so I'm taking over. So, so today we'll take a look at both of the new features uh, being made available in the 2017 version. Uh, every year we come up with a theme. Uh, this year we have come up with a theme like uh, the power you need to drive innovation. And the one features we have divided into five categories types that is innovate, design, validate, collaborate, manage, and build. Yeah. Every year we try to come up with a new product. Uh, this year we have come up with a product called SolidWorks PCB, which helps you create the uh, circuit board designs. Also, still at Come up with SolidWorks Visualize in 2016. Earlier to that, we had come up with uh, SolidWorks and before that, Plastics. So every year, every year, we try to come up with a new product. So this year, we come up with SolidWorks PC, that is printed circuit board. It's bought by Altium, uh, which is a major player in making circuit boards. For uh, we take a look at uh, what are the new features in your yeah. In basic the design level, then the user interface, sketching, and tumbling power, surfacing, sheet metal, assembly, and in the end, we'll take a look at what are the new features under drawing. Now, that with this. <coughs> the features uh, we'll take a look at in next. In 2017, introduces some great new capabilities that make everyday user experience even more productive. Let's go ahead and take a look. Giving greater power at your fingertips, selection breadcrumbs now display more information. For example, reference planes, your school adding mates, and your component suppression state. Any means and failures are also now highlighted, and with just a simple selection, is a fail mate, all the information you need to resolve the problem can be assessed. To a new contextual menu. And the shortcut to redefine the feature. Parts and assemblies can contain many different item types. To make the instant theory when you don't need them. In 2017, uh, you can hide all item types. We'll learn this part and see. Uh, just a simple one button click. And other. Hide visualization of parent child relations can also be enhanced further uh, to not only increase clarity but also they now show detailed information of any errors or warnings. Even more good feedback at your person. In 2017, when we select seeing an error or a warning feature in the feature manager tree, what's wrong information is displayed, and we directly edit that feature. Edit, uh, try to remove the errors. We'll try this error also. There's a missing edge uh, that has been lost. So we'll provide the red. We are working with the more delete phase commands. You can now control the display of selection. We will now move over to assembly. Quotations uh, managing part and assembly variations. Solid 2017 introduces some great new capabilities uh, for managing the order in which the configurations are displayed. Further, you can now sort the configuration order using your different criteria, including the date created, number, or individually. We can and drop to find the order. Some 
because I'm moving the common size to the top of this, so it is available for us later. So what makes it much quicker and easier to find and select the desired configuration? Uh, we are focusing on the content rather than in the session. Next, take a look at what are the new features under the sketch command. The shaded sketch contours, contour select through the Alt key, adding of shortcut makes and of micro lines. That is one of the common problems. Now, in Solx 2017, we have some new capabilities. The flow. Let's go and add a new slot to this plate. When working within a sketch, the mouse button shortcut menu has been enhanced to provide quick access to the most commonly used tools, that is the sketch entities and so on. So they are fully available for us. And uh, let's go. Contours like this slot um, can be played as a shaded region so that they'll give you an instant feedback while you work. By selecting and drawing a shaded area, a constrained shape can be easily moved to your location, making relation wherever you need to both quick and easy. Most display commands can quickly be through the context menu by simply selecting the shaded contour. Next are the model delighters, that is uh, the new features in modeling. Even design can be visually complex and hard to interpret. So, high amounts of internal detail. Solid 17 delivers a great new capability for increasing virtual clarity when work section views. Geometry of any component or body can be displayed transparent, enabling you to maintain complete visualization of geometry hidden by section planes using the new property option. Simply uh, options or the we have to hide. You have to get the transparency. It's even easier to interpret the complex designs which we make. Through the section views. Now, it's often necessary to have a model uh, to contain physical tests on holes and shafts. For uh, applications such as digital simulation and 3D printing, solid thread feature is a great time saver for modeling threads in quick and easy to use command. Using the thread feature, it now provides to automatically print the start and end phases. Multi start option is also given so that uh, it removes the need for any features, patterns, and the thread can be created. Within seconds, instead of doing a sweep and using the command. The sweep step feature in uh, swept using the sweep command in 2017 in sketch geometry. Uh, you can also make use of the faces, edges, and also curves to make the sweep. Make a look at what are the new features in the fillets and chaffers. And so we have the new options for multi distance. For variable fillets. And so fillet and chamfers are now interchangeable. That is let's 
In 2018, the Chamfer tool has been enhanced to include uh, many the advanced options for Bitbullet. For example, with the new look command and using the new type, you can multiple chamfers of different sizes in the operation. Select the edges you want, underscore each one, and everything is captured in single feature, saving you a lot of time and effort. Uh, T17 uh, also makes creating more complex chamfers of these. For example, uh, adding a variable chamfer around the top of this model. First, go back before the shell operation. In the new phase for option, we'll set two phases. to control over shape. So chamfers in one simple operation. The variable chamfers in one single operation, in which would take a Q multiple steps. To convert a pre existing chamfer to a fillet and uh, vice versa, simply have to edit the fillet and property manager changes the type. A new option called advanced code, uh, uh, it will help you create multi step code that is, pipe grids and all those things. Uh, and save those holes and we can use it again and again. Save it as a favorite and use it again and again so that we don't have to create it again. So, uh, multi step holes are a common design feature found in many industries. All simple in nature, they can require construction of numerous features to achieve the desired task. 2017, the new advanced full feature. Uh, Provide new capability uh, for creating multiple complex step holes in the operation. For example, in this will define the fast type element by a pre existing advanced hole feature. New flyout gain from the property manager derived in the stack for either a fast type is quick and easy. Along with the two standards that are that are Standard hole wizard. The definition is automatically displayed with new or any element in the stack. Plus sizing, if you want, even this can be added. Edit is easy. So after selecting and then changing the type. Now and convert to box is inserted so that can convert uh, okay, simplify our details uh, so that we are moving controller into property rights and maintain all our assembly and drawing references even after converting. So converting bodies in solidity 17 it's often keep keep a tool for simplifying parts with detailed complex feature histories. In the transition assembly uh, with the part so arrangement of the transmission is constructed Let's play it. Quality, if you can see its feature history, it contains extra complexity uh, that isn't necessary or required by the recipient to who are sending this part. 
the option that is available when we right click on the part you will convert our features to a single body by adding all references uh, in any associated assemblies and drawings simply what we have to do is enter a new name and choose to preserve any sketches and uh, reference geometry just click okay the resulting part now is just a single feature you can see the mates of that part use the mate also maintain so they don't have to edit it even if we open the drawing the bill of materials will also be updated with the updated part so we used to convert to bodies in 2017 to simplify our parts with detailed or complex feature histories now facing we we will use this command called wrap multiple times to wrap any get onto an uneven or a circular or cylindrical surface wrap used to work on the cylindrical or circular surfaces now from 2017 onwards it's been made available to work on any irregular surface also so now we can do that. so take a look at this so Form a forearm cuff. We'll open. Only geometry on two complex faces. Previously, we could do this only on two cylindrical or cones. Twenty uh, seventeen, we can now draw sketches on two multiple faces of any shape. Will this logo? we can emboss deboss in the curve to split the surfaces the wrap of the center point point the use of instant 3d able we can manipulate the sketch in real time so we have to do a perfect result then say we will compare to other work arounds that are available that have to do to irregular surfaces now take a look at the design of the finger support cuff has introduced wherein we can offset onto the surface if we want to offset any edge that edge can offset it onto the surface so that we can later make use of that edge on uh, to in any other edge there have been couple of uh, enhancements one feature is they have included three bend corner tree right Uh, stable support for mirrored or derived parts and normal cut improvements, optimizing the geometry within the normal cuts. And then they have been made in the normal cut feature in the sheet metal in solid seventy. Make this body transparent. But the, there are a couple of bars running through the holes created with sheet metal normal feature. In on 2016 of solid works. Notice there are still some interferences between the bars and kits. This is not correct and uh, not the perfect result or the preferred result. Now, in its uh, own way, uh, so you can see the cuts more clearly. 
normal cuts were created by protecting the upper putting the upper and lower contour onto the for normal cut now any new option is available for optimize the geometry of cut to move any unwanted material the inspection we can clearly see that this new option is exactly what is required Will be turned on by default for any newly created nomads, but there has the option to manually turn it off. Uh, we have always had the ability to add the core relief where uh, two shaded bends come together. Twenty seven nomads. this ability has been extended to three bends Uh, the option in the corner relief property manager uh, solid works collect appropriate corners and choose from various relief options that is rectangular circular tear or brown or full brown relief option has all the options the drawing uh, get a better look treatment corners so corner relief the material is removed where Put in both the bend and flatten shape, and clearly see the various relief types that can create more added designs. Now, introduces many productivity aspects, or what we call like this, to the environment. See what are the improvements in assembly now.
coming into the Teacher introduces called Mayola. Sixteen, we introduced Mid Controller, but in twenty seventeen we have uh, made it improved for it. In twenty nineteen, uh, we can create each of Mid Controller configurations or positions the new configuration. And create a positions. And now we have to save this position set to configurations. So in case of this configuration, even within the drawing, uh, let's run a drawing of this. We can turn positions of it uh, and indicate how it moves. Let's let's take a look at what are the new features within the drawing. This assembly it's a critical part of this overall design. And our user can be a right handed or a left handed person. Let's open a drawing for this, which has been created. And this contains all the information required. But let's start by taking a look at the improvements to drawing views. 17, we can now emphasize the outline of section views. That are taking a section. Emphasize. 
the detail of these components stand out sure. there is also cache throughout the detail the views can also be edited it's just a matter of editing within the document properties and just select the values which we need and select the correct thickness and click ok the view now can also be turned off already we can also use jacked out and density to get the result. The red module can also be left or right hand. So instead of creating a separate mirrored assembly, we can now make the view. Or vertically. And notice that all the associated annotations upgraded update accurately so some great usability improvement in 2017 the drawing now working with multi sheet drawings now make changes to sheet property properties and make them propagate those to other sheets some of the impressions in SOS 2017 uh, were showcased today. Even the rest of the improvements will be shown in the coming weeks. That is, Wednesday we will have a web session. And completely will be only focusing on what are the new features in 2017. So things will be included. So from today's presentation, if you have questions or anything, you can send to me or you can write it to support at seasoning. Today's uh, presentation. If you have any questions, you can drop down. The